Hi, I'm Shannon from Spilling Tequila and happy summer. It's almost the 4th of July, so I have four drinks for your 4th of July celebration that are a little different than you might expect. Remember these? Your classic bomb pop, your firecracker. Well, Smirnoff has a vodka called Red, White & Berry that tastes just like a firecracker. And I'm gonna show you a few ways to use this for your 4th of July drinks. This first one is super simple. It's just two ounces of the Smirnoff and some sparkling lemonade. And it's really flexible. You can do whatever you want with this lemonade. You could use a sugar-free lemonade. You could make your own fresh lemonade, adjust the sugar how you want it, put in some club soda or a seltzer, anything you want and you've got a nice drink. This next one is a take on a Moscow Mule. You are first going to rim your glass you're just going to rub a little lemon juice around there and then put it in some blue sugar. You are gonna mix two ounces of the vodka, a half an ounce of Luxardo, this is maraschino liqueur, so it's pretty sweet, and one ounce of lemon juice. Shake it up in your shaker, pour it into your glass over some ice. Now I used these, not sure if you can see, but I froze some cherries in some ice cubes and they kind of look like eyeballs, so I may save them for Halloween instead of 4th of July, but you are then going to top it with ginger beer. I like Q mixers because it is all natural and it's not too sweet, and that is what makes your Moscow Mule. For all you Mike's Hard Lemonade fans out there, you are just gonna take a chilled Mike's, pour it into a glass, and mix in two ounces or one ounce, whatever you want, of the Smirnoff. The vodka gives it a little more sweetness, not that it needs more, but it kind of cuts the malt taste a little bit too. It's actually really delicious. And it looks a little plain, but watch this. Right before you serve it, remember these firecrackers? Just float one of those in there. Check it out. This next one is pretty special. I am in love with this drink. <sighs> it's so pretty. The way you make this, first of all, you're just gonna pour into an empty glass a little bit of grenadine, like maybe a half an ounce to an ounce. Then you're gonna put in tons of crushed ice. You're gonna fill this right up to the top with crushed ice. Pour in about five ounces. Now, depending on the size glass you use, you wanna use a tall glass. You don't wanna use anything that's too wide. Um, so you can keep the layers going on here. You're gonna pour in about five ounces of tonic water. I used this one here, the lemon fever tree tonic water. And then the trick here is to pour two ounces. You're gonna take this Empress Gin, okay? It's got a nice bluish purple color and it changes when you mix it with things. So you wanna make sure it doesn't mix to get the layers. You're gonna take two ounces of it and slowly pour it over the back of your bar spoon and that will give you a beautiful layering effect. It's not hard, I succeeded my first try. So there you have it folks. There are four awesome 4th of July cocktails. I hope you like them and I hope you have a great Independence Day.